What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a new episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm Pandy XP, and last time we went on ahead and we defeated the Houndmaster, died a whole bunch, but uh, now we're gonna go on ahead and continue um, exploring uh, Fort Joy, and then from there we're going to see if we can uh, free Withermore's soul. Okay. Let's go on ahead and head on down here. Thinking that we should probably do the um, dog fight next, and then after that, we'll uh, go on ahead and uh, head for Withermore. So let's go on ahead and head over here. Okay, so let's go on ahead and head in there first with Fane because this is going to be a pretty interesting fight, most likely. Alright, so let's go on ahead and quick save. We won't necessarily rest yet, but here we go. Oh. I guess we need to open the door with um I thought I actually had the key, but apparently not. But that's fine. Because I think we should be able to pick a lot of Seville. Okay, hold up. Looks like we have to see who has the thievery skill, if at all. If not, we'll just go straight for Withermore. Okay, we're just gonna go straight for Withermore in this case. We'll be able to get some good XP from this as well. Okay, so we've gotten past the poison, and now we uh, enter into a chamber. So in here there are five different idols. Um, they all do different things, and essentially this one on the left over here is the actual soul jar of Withermore, so we're just going to go on ahead and, um, we have other things to do in here, but we're just going to go on ahead and uh, talk to it. From its depths, a faint voice hums. This must be the container that holds Lord Withermore's soul. Withermore held his end of the bargain. We should hold ours. It would be cruel to keep a man's soul when we could easily free it. Does our word mean nothing? Destroy the jar. Alright, so we're just going to go on ahead and destroy the jar. I mean, he helped us get under Fort Joy and progress, so that's what we're going to go on ahead and do. The jar smashes to smithereens on the floor. Okay, there it is. So the next thing we're going to go on ahead and do is, um, there are actually fights that we can do in here, with, and there's two uh, skeleton fights that we can do in total. Um, one of them, I do believe, is this middle one, and then another one is this one over here. And then the other two, um, statues actually, um, change the arena a bit. So, essentially what we're going to do is, we're going to just post up our party over here, and we're just going to get them in position for some of the people that are going to spawn. Okay, we'll keep some people over here. Um, I'm just gonna go on ahead and try this um, composition because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get hurt too easily just due to how the sight system works in this game. So we're just gonna go on ahead and post our boy hand over here. And then uh, we'll rest, quick save. And we do actually have to send Lowe's to destroy one of the soul jars. Yeah, she can actually jump back out. 
So we're gonna go ahead and rest again because we need to get that buff because it's good. Okay. We got most. Go ahead there. And that actually, apparently, it um, terrified me. The Los isn't in combat quite yet, so let's go ahead and just move for a quote. No, not movie. That's unfortunate. We actually move the Sabeel. Alright, so they have very little um, physical armor, so we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, well, we can't get the backstab on the um, archer, but we're gonna go ahead and get a lot of damage. Or we're not gonna get any damage whatsoever and just completely whip. <laughs> Alright, fine, we're just going ahead and expose him. Alright, yeah, that's great, because we have Fane over there. All this has the potential to be a pretty difficult fight. I honestly don't anticipate it being all that of an endeavor, truly. Alright, so we got that dude CC for whenever it's his turn again. And yeah, this dude has to come down here because he can't see us. Okay. So let's go on ahead and get some fire down. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and start getting some AP back. Then I think the next best thing would probably be to buff myself. I will haste Bane so he can actually get over there a lot more quickly. I will heal one of them because they're all undead and because they are undead I can um, heal them and it will do physical damage. We're going to and get all that dude's physical armor down. And uh, I guess I can't hit that dude in the back, so we'll just hit this guy. And he has magic armor, so that's actually unfortunate, but go ahead and ignite me. I'll do that. Okay, this is where we're going to go on ahead and hopefully jump up with Los. Alright, fantastic. So now we're hasted, which is actually pretty good. We can take the zero AP move, and then, unfortunately, we can't see that guy over there, but I don't think he can see us either, so that's pretty good. And I think the best course of action actually is going to be to teleport this dude a little bit closer, and then just use our abilities. start getting a little bit of dot damage on them. Right, they actually turned out pretty good, so uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of more uh, match power off of them. Hopefully this can end up being pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to handle this situation with Sabeel. I'm going to fortify Sabeel actually, so I make sure she has a good amount of the armor. We're going to move slightly to the left with Fame so that way we can then hopefully knock both of them down. Fantastic. Alright, that'll be the uh, turn right there. Okay, so the next thing that we got to do most likely is we're going to go on ahead and uh, move over with the uh, Los so that way we can get a, get a better side on the two mages. And then from there, we're just going to, um, I think we'll buff up to get more finesse and more AP. And then from there, we're just going to nuke them with more damage and get even more dot damage job uh, talking on them. I think I shall agonize the Aeromancer. Alright, fantastic. Uh, 
Okay, so now with Loche later on, we'll be able to um take out that uh, Cryomancer. But until then, let's go ahead and get even more dot damage on them. And uh, we can't actually see them, so that's unfortunate. So I guess I'll just walk over here for 1 AP, and I'll hit a basic on this um, archer. That's actually fine that she's uh, hitting a panda because we'll be able to shield up. Alright, so hopefully we can get some pretty good damage on them. Fane, and yeah, yeah, he's actually getting a lot of health back and fantastic. Oh, yes, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, we're starting to do some serious damage with the uh, dot uh, over time. It's, uh, it's looking pretty good for us. Okay. So hopefully I can not hit Sabeel. Okay. Um. The hanging three. There it is. All right. So this this uh, Kyle Mancer, yeah, is. Oh my goodness, that's a problem. Might need to reload just because she died in the first place. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, but she's honestly very squishy right now. I need to get invisibility with her so that way she can avoid possibly taking any damage at all at the end of rounds. This, this is actually pretty debilitating. Go ahead and shields up. Probably finish off this. Oh, um, yeah, he'll probably. Oh, crit! There it is. Well, he'll actually be taking down this turn. Right, let's go ahead and uh, do more damage on them. The hanging five should do the trick right there. Fantastic. Okay, so now all we have left is that Cryomancer. Once we have our teleportation back up, I'll walk over there with Los and just teleport him in. But until then, I think I'm gonna walk over with um, Bane because I want him to actually be the target damage at this moment in time. So Bane is in fact frozen right now. But we can walk over, and I think we might be able to, um, heal, yeah, heal the Cryomancer and start doing some good damage to him. Okay. Go ahead and ignite. Scorched. And let's go ahead and just hit him with the fireball. I need to use the scroll at some point in time, so go ahead and do it now. Uh, can I see him? No, not quite yet. Honestly, probably should have uh, jumped over here. So I can hit him from here, but I don't honestly want to do that, I just want to teleport him closer. And I'll move out of Panda's way, and there we're just going to hit him with the Agony. That's honestly the spell that we need to get is uh, Armor Frost, because we are honestly looking pretty pretty devastated as far as uh, our ability to recover right now you need to see if I have a potion that I can take I need to heal myself if I can I'm gonna eat this penny bun. I really need to put that in the potion bottle. I'm honestly lacking on my uh, crafting. 
be honest with you. Let's go ahead and just get even more damage on Los. Alright, so hopefully Los can just really do a massive amount of damage here. Okay, and she's actually going to get to go again, so that's... Alright, so we might be able to kill this turn. And there it is. Okay, so it was unfortunate that... Uh, Sibyl actually got taken out, but... Hopefully we get some gear that can make up for it. And we can um, go on ahead and find a rest scroll, or at least buy one. Gold... More gold. Got some boots. And a potion. Okay, so pain is the strength bro, so let's go ahead and see what we can get in this uh, sarcophagus. Okay. So we actually have another fight, but and those um, are going to be physical based characters instead. So it'll be better for uh, Panda overall let's go on here and just continue our looting let's walk around just a little bit might have to go see if I can't scrounge up enough gold to get another rest goal otherwise it's not looking for us everyone <laughs> but we will prevail I promise you this okay so usually there's supposed to be a piece of armor that we can get here but unfortunately, we can't because, um, essentially, uh, we don't have the wits to do so. I'm gonna head, head down here and get this loot real quick. Okay, so it's looking like we're not gonna actually have a rest roll, so we're going to have to go find the Avenger that hopefully is selling it and we're gonna have to do it even if we have to um sell those boots but I'd like to give them to uh, Los to be honest with you so that way she can be a little bit more bulky let's go ahead and port to town and let's see if we can't uh, go buy a rest roll Okay, so it's going to be 297, we have 120. So we can sell the knife, so the arrow, so the poison arrow. Um, I'm going to sell these essences just for now because it's a dire situation, unfortunately. Sell the teeth. Yeah, so the rock, all this stuff as well. Sell the tainted blood skill book. Okay, 54 gold. We still actually have some gold, which isn't too bad. Um, going ahead and buy another health pot. And also, we'll just create one using Watch our, uh, by combining a potion bottle with a penny button mushroom. Well, that's not a penny button mushroom. <laughs> that is a penny button mushroom. Alright, so now we have three health pots. So, we're looking a little bit better than that front, so that's good. And we can go on ahead and uh, head down back to Withermore's area. So that way we can revive Sabiel. Let's go on ahead and head on down there. Cool. We to go up the stairs first though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, y'all like 
my goodness, the RNG I've been having in this run, this has been interesting, to say the least. Like, my goodness. But, we will prevail in the end, and I think, uh, we'll be, uh, we'll be alright. Since we're having a little bit of tough times. Okay, I have this girl. Rest. Quick save. And from there, I think we're gonna go on ahead and uh, head on to um, head outside because I think there's something that I need to do that I haven't quite done. Is there someone who has the sparkler card? Okay, yes, I actually haven't used that yet. So let's go ahead and do that. What I mean by that is there are some people over here playing a card game and uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can uh, take some of their money. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. Oh, we're gonna go on ahead and accept. Chuff to you, Chief. Here are your cards. You're up first. So usually, if you honestly didn't have the sparkler card, you wouldn't be able to um, do this and win. You'd automatically lose, and they would either take your money or you'd have to fight them. Ralbo's eyes linger on the table, where the card lies as innocent as a piece of cardboard can. His gaze travels up your torso to meet your eyes. Now, where do you get a thing like that, mate? Alright, doesn't matter. Rules are rules. Ralvo counts out the entirety of the table's pot without breaking eye contact. Go! Alright, fantastic. And, you know, we actually want the EXP here, so unfortunately for these people, we're going to be taking them out. But we are going to go over here and uh, to pick up this sword because... We're going to use that to make even more money. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to want to keep our boy panned up here. And then we're going to want to keep Los up here as well. And then from there we're going to want to send Fane and Sabeel down there. Oh, but I guess Sabeel didn't come with us, but that's okay because we can just have her pull up to the square. And have her come over here. Right there. Alright, just wait for her to get over here, and then from there, we'll uh, initiate combat. I'm gonna go on ahead and position so that way I have a better line of sight with um, hand on, and then I'll walk over here with low so that way no one can actually walk up the uh, ladder. Cool. Position her here. Position him here, and then I don't think anyone can actually get up from there at this point. So now at this point, we're going to quick save. I'm going to rest to get the buff, and let's go on ahead and uh, hit him. Let's get it. So this dude's coming for us immediately. Um, let's see. They have very, very little magic armor in general, so I know that that means that I'm going to go ahead and plus sacrifice. I'm going to chaos form to switch to magic damage. I'm going to adrenaline. Then we're just going to go ahead and get some damage off. Then we'll get their elf, their uh debuff their weaknesses to elemental damage and now they both don't have magic armor and we can uh, hit them with the basic alright she can't actually hit us from this direction let's go ahead and get rid of the visible armor And hopefully knock down both of them. Unfortunately we didn't knock down both of them, but it's okay. 
And uh, we'll go on ahead and um, encourage just so that way Panic can get damaged. We'll buff. And we'll just start nuking the field. We're going ahead and um, teleport this thief guy slug over where these other two dudes are. Bravo and Sawtooth. Sawtooth has been taken care of now, so that's pretty fantastic. And then we'll just go ahead and get Agony on two of them. Alright, the misses are unfortunate though. Okay, next up. Going ahead and uh, adrenaline. We will peace of mind Sabile. Alright, now her uh, blinded is taken care of, which is fantastic. We will go sacrifice. Let's go ahead and get some fire down. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just start piling on some damage. Case to heal. We'll also heal her as well. And now, uh, I feel like that was a pretty good turn. Alright, this is where we're gonna go ahead and just take him out. And, uh, I'll walk over towards this guy. Alright, we're going ahead and uh, fortify Spiel and get rid of her uh, burning as well. And then from here, we'll uh, go ahead and try to knock down Bottle Top. What kind of name is Bottle Top, I tell you. But otherwise, that's that. Okay, let's go ahead and just start doing more damage to Ralvo over here. Get some agony off. And that ability does a lot of damage. That's interesting. Oh, my goodness. Bravo's taken care of. Um, let's go ahead and just end our turn. She was knocked down. I'm going ahead and um, head down with Panda. And just try to get in this caster's like base over here. Also going to walk over here with Sabiel as well. And uh. Start getting some damage. I'm glad that uh, <laughs> that NPC isn't hitting um, Sabio because she would probably die again. Like now, it's be very unfortunate. Fantastic. Uh, she just got taken out because of uh, ability. Let's go ahead and walk down here with Los. Just start getting more damage on the last over here. Fantastic. Go ahead and get fire going. Get some burn damage, and then we'll use our abilities to CC. Just go ahead and do a basic. And that'll do that. Go ahead and rest so that way that spill doesn't be dying. Fantastic. Okay. So that uh, actually ended up going a lot better than it could have ended up going. So I feel like that was a successful uh, bit of combat compared to our other. Uh, Encounters that we've had so far. Let's go ahead and loot. Recipes. Go ahead and get a firestorm grenade. See what we can get off of all these people. So we get an axe. We got a new sword. 
And we got a shield as well. We go ahead and pick up that hook. We actually have an identifying glass now, so whenever we uh, find more gear that we need to identify, we actually can do it now. I actually found a hat for someone. You already have a hat. Alright, so Bio does not have a helmet yet, so let's go ahead and give that to her. She definitely needs the arm. 100%. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is. See, that does 8 to 9, that's 9 to 11, and it can set bleed. So we're gonna ahead and get that going. 24 to 16. Alright, so the shield is generally speaking the same. I can actually get this shield as an upgrade, I mean, we will have a massive armor upgrade from that now. That's fantastic. Because we have way more survivability at this point. Okay. So the next thing, we actually have a sword as well, but that's not as good. Alright, I think that's uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good to go. And now I think we're going ahead and... Uh, Oh, we're over in copy. Hold up a second. We're going ahead and go sell and see uh, how much gold we can compile together from all this gear we've gotten. I'm going to move these fire storm grenades over to Seville's bag for now. And, uh, alright. Let's go over to some of these vendors over here because there's some skills I actually have in mind to get that we desperately needed to get for a while now. I have slots to learn, so I think this would be very beneficial in the long run. Yes. Okay, so we have Zahara over here. Let's see what she has. Okay, so she does like chaos magic. We're not actually interested in what she has to sell. So let's talk to our boy Razik over here. The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts and doesn't look up as you approach. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, new, are you? Very good, very good. Make yourself at home. Go on and ask if he has any goods for sale. Goods? Ah, yes. Yes, of course. Have a look. Okay, this is what I've been waiting for, honestly. So, if I can actually compile the gold to get some of these abilities, I'm definitely going to do this. So, first of all, unfortunately, he doesn't have the tier 2. Or, no, actually, there it is, right there. Armor Frost. We absolutely need Armor Frost desperately. And I honestly want to get Restoration as well, because if I can have hand to have restoration I can give the ring, the other re restoration ring to another person which would allow me to then go on ahead and have essentially double the healing but right now we can't afford that because we only have 192 gold but we have the magister sword and we have some other uh, things that we can sell as well Okay, so we're still short, unfortunately, but we're trying to just scrounge this together. Apparently, these eyes sell for a immaculate sum, so we're going to go ahead and sell those to him. And, uh, you know, we're going to sell it to him for a little bit better price, but it'll be worth it to get these two abilities, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Fantastic. From there, we now have two fantastic abilities that are going to just absolutely just just be invaluable to us at this moment in time in the game. Let's just go ahead and remove that ring for now and uh, since we're going to have the high ground with um, Los a lot, it'd be best to give her the restoration spell because she'll be able to see a lot more of the battlefield overall. Um, let me see, is there anybody that needs gloves? Yeah, let's <laughs> go ahead and give these gloves to our uh, full. That's why we don't give the uh, gloves to to Sibyl because she can't wear them. Neither can uh, Bane apparently. Well, that's unfortunate. But how much gold do we have left? We have none. That was all of our gold. Well, that's just how it goes sometimes. We're just going to have to be real careful. 
Um, I think the next fight that we should do, considering the fact that we can just do it over and over again and it will be of very little consequence to us, is I think the next thing will be to do the arena. So we'll go on ahead and do that. And uh, I think essentially that'll be what we do in the next episode. So uh, if you enjoyed what you saw today, you know, if you enjoyed my videos, go on ahead and feel free to uh, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, click the like. And if you uh, want to get my videos anytime I upload, click the notification bell. Uh, everybody have a great day and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.